Hello again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catron. Today's topic is local only files inside of Enterprise PDM and how you can handle those. This is going to be a very quick video. There are only a couple of settings that deals with this, these local files. The main thing is knowing what they are and how they occur. I have a few examples here. Two are SolidWorks local files, one Word local file, and then I have some regular vaulted files. Uh, we might call those normally vaulted. One is checked out to me, one is not. So the files in question are these local only files. Let's take a quick look at how to handle those in the Enterprise PDM settings. So under a group settings, and of course under a user settings, we can select the explorer section of settings. These three radio buttons determine if these local files are shown or not. For a lot of customers, it becomes appropriate to select this radio button and show only files that are part of the vault. The local files in this scenario will still be there, but they won't be visible to the end user. We'll say OK to that and go back and take a quick look at how that occurs. So those files technically are still there, but they're not visible to the user. If I reverse that setting to show all files, we'll see those files reappear. Now, when dealing with local files, there are a couple of ways that they can occur. Detailing all the possible ways that these could occur is a little beyond the scope of what I want to talk about in this quick tips video. But one example is that I have a locally cached copy. For example, this footpad. I've been working on this sometime in the past, so I have a version here locally. Now let's say I'm gone for the day, browsed out of that folder, or maybe I'm in the folder. For whatever reason, someone moves that folder, renames that file. For whatever reason, the vaulted copy becomes located somewhere else or deleted. What I would be left with here on my C drive is a copy that is local only to my machine. It's not part of the vault anymore. But because that file was checked in at the time that it got moved, I can go look at properties and verify that there is a read-only attribute set. PDM checks and unchecks this based on if the file is checked out to me or checked in. If it is checked out, this would be unchecked. As soon as I check it back in, Enterprise sets that. So as you can imagine, local files that have been deleted or moved, they are still read-only because they were not checked out to me at the time of deletion, but they're still local here to my machine. So one of the options inside of those Explorer settings is to automatically clean up read-only files that are not part of the vault. So this is those local-only files that are also read-only. If I go ahead and say OK here, we'll notice that one of my files has been removed. Now these local-only files have occurred in some other way. Maybe I created them when I was in offline mode, or perhaps there was a problem with network connectivity when I pasted these into the vault. These are local only files, but they are not read only. They either need to be added to the vault, through a right click add to vault command, or they can be removed at my discretion, of course. For a lot of customers, the all users group contain some what I call casual users, people that are only in and out of the vault from time to time. For those people especially, it's going to be a great idea to choose local file cleanup and perhaps show only files that are part of the vault. This eliminates questions, concerns, and confusion among the end users on what these ghost or grayed out files are. I hope this is helpful. If you find this information useful or have landed here uh, because you had this question, uh, feel free to leave us a comment. Was this information useful? And of course, as always, feel free to leave us a comment if there's a video that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.